What's up guys, Pops here with another pop video and today we got a big lot haul that we got for a great price. This lovely giant you. box back this here. This giant, large, as you can oh, see, geez. large <laughs> box that we're going to be unboxing and we're going to see how we do on this one. We'll talk to you just in a second on what we pay for it and then go one by one and at the end we'll tally it up, see how much we came out with. And you don't want to miss this. All right, guys, so we're back here. We're going to be opening up this box. Just want to remind you guys on Sunday coming up, we're going to be to, uh, releasing our giveaway on which one won the face off. So far, it looks like Batman vs. Superman or the Daredevil is in the lead. and uh, We also have the Green Lantern 3-pack and also the New Day WWE 3-pack yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. So which one's get on our Instagram and vote. Yeah, that's Let us know which one you want. That's Pops KO4. Um, honestly, I, I'm with you. I think that the Batman vs. Superman is going to be the... The winner. Yeah, that's cool. That's a cool two pack. It is. It's, it's a glow in the dark, guys. It is. It is. So. And I think that everybody's been partial to that one too. We've gotten the most likes, love, yeah, everything for that one. So, and so. just a reminder: um, once uh, we get 100 YouTube subscribers, we're gonna go ahead and the following video after that, we're gonna announce that uh, the winner on the following video. Yep. So we're almost at 100 subs, and we really appreciate you know all the love and support you guys give us. And we hope you enjoy the content that we're putting out. We're really putting our heart and souls into this, and we're having a lot of fun doing it. But mm -hmm. let's get right into this haul. We're excited. We just got this box. Yep. We had to move it out of the way when we got home today. It was so big. So we'll go and start doing this now uh, as Kristen opens it up. Let's see. So, so just let you guys know. So we got this from a guy. Um, you would never believe the price, but he reached out to us. And said he's just got to get rid of it. He's got no room in it anymore. And I think he was like a, a flipper for many things, not just pops. I think he just got stuff in from estate sales and uh, yard sales and all that. If you so. can see, I don't know, I'm going to try and push Orin out of the way a little bit. He's got more box in here as packing, just so that way yeah. it's packed really, really well. Interesting packing. There's bubble. <laughs> Um, there's also a different type of thing in here. We have some Simpsons toys as well. Yep. So, like we said, we're so, just going to get into this lot. Just real quick, guys. So, we paid $120 for this delivered to our door. I believe this is going to be a great deal. We're going to tally it up now. We're going to take a look here. So, we'll do this stuff at the end since it's not pop related. But... All right, so we'll start with the first one, guys. I'm still pulling bubble and packing out. I'm just so first one, one we got out here is the, this is a, is this even Funko? I, yeah, this is a Funko rock candy. Box is a little little damaged. This is the Suicide Squad Enchant, Enchant, uh, Enchantress. I don't know if I'm even saying that correctly. Yeah. Hey, Enchantress. Enchantress. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got that one. Very interesting. I've never seen it before. Have you seen this Funko line? I haven't seen that one. Maybe Rock at, candy. Maybe at Target I've seen one or two, but... Next one. What do we got? We got Killer, Killer Croc. So, it looks like a lot of these... We got a little bit of damage on this one, guys. So, we got Killer Croc. That is the Walmart exclusive. He, the face is pretty cool, guys. So Very detailed. So, there's that one. Next, we got... Oh, look. Lost. Are you... Yeah. Kristen used to watch that show all the time. I watched every season. I, Kate Austin. I was kind of disappointed in the way it ended, but it is what it is. Nothing we can do about it. It's the way they decided to end the show. But. So. She looks to be in decent condition. Yeah. Looks like somebody's going to have a little bit of damage, but I guess for the price we got it for, we really can't complain. So. Here we got Rick Grimes from The Walking Dead. He's got a pistol and everything guys so that's pretty cool we never we tried watching this show we couldn't really get into it even though we love horror flicks zombies and everything 
but we just could not get into this one guys but this is definitely a cool pop I'll show you a little bit of the gun in there see that right there pretty cool guys okay so these are done no 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 these Okay, gotcha. So next we got, oh, Daryl Dixon from Walking Dead. Here's another one from the series, guys. Not sure if this is worth much. I know there's another Daryl Dixon that is uh, really cheap. He's like a 5 or $6 pop. This one I've never seen. It does have a little bit of damage here on the bottom if you can really pick that up. But Like Warren was saying, with the, the amount we paid for these, um, we're, we're okay with a little bit of damage. Okay, we got uh, we got this one. This is the A Team guys, John Hannibal Smith. I've never seen any A Team pops. Have you? I've never seen. Any I haven't movie. seen the pops, but the movie was awesome. I but I love all that type of stuff. I'm a huge movie buff. I hope we got uh, Mr. T in this one. I think this one's got a little bit of did. a tear right here, guys. But uh, oh, we got another A Team guys. We got Templeton Faceman Peck. Yeah, I've never seen this one, but I definitely love Mr. T. I'm looking. I don't remember if we got him in this lot or not. So there's that one. So there's him. What else have we got here? We got Star Trek Beyond Bones. Never seen this one before, guys. I do have a Mirror Universe Spock. That's like one of my favorite Star Trek ones. So here is Bones from Star Trek, the movie. All right. Next, oh, we got another A team, guys. We might have the whole series in this collection. This is the Howling Mad Murdoch, and he's got a, like a sock puppet in his hand. You can see right there, guys. So. And if you know anything about the um, the A team and the movie, Murdoch is basically crazy. Oh uh, yeah. And he's in a psych ward at one point. Super awesome. Okay, I don't know it. This is an odd pop. It's like a. Either this box is really damaged, or sun damaged, or no, no, no. he's black and white. Or it is just a black and white pop, he's right? He's black and white. So this is the same pop we just got, but like in black and white. Really odd. I've never seen one like this before. I don't think I have any that is, we don't have any that are well, black and white, right? So this is a Walmart exclusive. Well, here's another. Daryl Dixon, actually. Oh, and here's another Daryl Dixon. Now this one, he's got a, uh, like a rifle type. I don't know what type of gun that is, looks but looks like a bazooka. <laughs> yeah. So here's another one, guys. A Daryl Dixon from Walking Dead as well. Let us know in the comments if any of you watched the show. Um, I don't know why couldn't we? We just couldn't get into we it. We just right? couldn't get into it. We watched like the first few episodes and we just couldn't get. Hooked. Like, you know, when you watch a show and you're just like, oh my god, you get to binge watch it. We were huge on Breaking Bad. I think we binge oh, watched yeah. like six seasons in like a week. Um, no, not that <laughs> Like good. a week or two. I just know all we do, all we did is come home, put like three, four, five episodes on. Yeah, it was crazy. The amount of time oh, we spent on that. This is a cool one. We got Storm with the Mohawk from Marvel, guys. Really cool pop from X Men. I really like that one, guys. Yeah, I think this is from when they were younger, though. This is from the newer X Men. So. Gotcha. This is before she became. Okay, and then. The big one that she was. Gotcha, and then this goes with that same set. This is Cable. Really cool pop, man. I love the detail on the. Look at the. Let me see if I can get it close for you. Look at the detail on the suit, guys. Really love that. We have two more. So. There's that one. Oh, and another one from the X Men. This is Quicksilver. Never really seen much from Quicksilver. I've heard of him in the past. Have you seen anything with him? Um, not really. Or at least not that I can remember. Um. This is a pretty, I would say a plain pop, but yeah, I've never seen much with him on the actual movies and stuff. Oh, no, this is one of my all time favorite. A little damage on this box, which is a little sad, but this is Sabretooth from X Men. Really love this character, guys. What about you, Kristen? Do you like Sabretooth? Um, he's good, but he's a villain, and... I really like I, him. I like, when it comes to X-Men, I like the heroes. I'm a sap like that, so... 
Okay, we got from Star Trek Beyond. We got Scotty. Okay, we got some good ones in this slot, guys. We don't know a lot of the values on this yet. We're going to see what, what it comes out to at the end. So there's Scotty. Yeah, but like we said, some of these pops are slightly damaged. Yeah. I've and I mean, that one's from 2016. It might be worth Let's something. Drop it. As Kristen drops it, <laughs> now it's worth nothing. Hey. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Next, we have Katana from Suicide Squad. Really cool pop. Wow. Look at that one, Kristen. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that is a nice one. That is one. really nice. We really like this movie, guys. This one has a little damage on the top as well. So, there's that. Okay. All right, next we got Jayla from Star Trek Beyond. Looks like we got a mix of X-Men. We got some Walking Dead. Got some Star some Trek so far. We got Lost, the A-Team. The A-Team. I'm still waiting to see if we got that Mr. T. So I didn't see him as I pulled everything out of the box. So. Alright, there's that one. Next we got... Okay, we have the other version of the Killer Croc from Suicide Squad. This box is in decent condition, guys. They they made this character really detailed. The face has the like the leathery type skin like a croc would have. Really nice, guys. I think this is a cheap pop, but... Next we got another Star Trek Beyond. This box is definitely dinged up, guys. You can see right here it doesn't even push down, but this is I'm gonna let Kristen pronounce this one. Uriah. Okay. It's not that hard. I'm not good with the names from these movies really. So there's that one guys. Definitely love the movie though. And then I'm just gonna hand them that Sulu from Star Trek Beyond as well. Alright. Looks yeah. like we got quite a few for Star Trek. Whoever, this is all from 2016, so I'm going to guess there's some value to these for sure, guys. But as you can see in the back, there's a lot in this series, so. And then we have one more for Star Trek Beyond that I can check find. Off. This is Chekhov from that series, too. So we got a good amount of these guys. Really cool. Yeah, let's see. I'm just trying to see if we have anything else that goes together. So, oh, yeah. it looks like we got a third Barnes & Noble exclusive glow-in-the-dark killer croc. Looks just like the last one that we did. Just so this one's glow-in-the-dark. Yep, glow-in-the-dark. But like he said, it is a really cool pop. It is so detailed, the work that was done on it. We have Boomerang, Boomerang. from Suicide Squad. Yep, this is from Suicide Squad, guys. Just make sure this doesn't fall. Again, really love this movie, guys. I think uh, your favorite was Deadshot, right? And actually, that's what I just grabbed. We have the two different versions of Deadshot. Oh, very cool. We have the masked we'll do... and the unmasked. All right, we'll do this one first. So we got masked Deadshot. Love the gun detail on this, guys. Even as the, the piece for his eye is really cool. So... That's pretty cool. And then here's the unmasked dead shot. All right, there's that one, guys. And we have two more, it looks like, for Suicide Squad in this lot. So we'll show you that as we go on. We have Rick Flag. Rick Flag from, from Suicide, Suicide Squad. Squad. All right, there's Rick Flag. Don't remember this character. I do. You? Think he was the main guy that was with. Um, oh, this is a cool one, guys. What's her name? Uh, Take a look at this one, guys. Harley Quinn. The Enchantress. I think she, with he's the, the bat. guy that was dating her. Get a little close up on the bat there. Let's see if we can get it in there. You can see her holding it right there. Really cool pop, guys. She got the colorful hair in this one. Yeah, I was going to say, I love the hair. All right. And so, then we got one from Lost here. We got Jacob from Lost. So we can definitely add that as a set to that collection. I think we got almost he's holding a set for you know, you saw this, He's well. holding a glass of wine, guys. <laughs> hmm. So you can see it right there. Let's see. It'll show. Nah, it's very dark in the box. Yeah. 
So. And then we got John Lock. Is it Locky or Lock from? Lock. Lock. John John Lock. So there's that one. That's from Lost as well. Yep. And we, we got just more. a few more here. Another loss. We got Jack Shepard. He's pretty cool. Yep. And another loss, guys. We got Sawyer James Ford. He was my favorite character on there. I don't know about you guys, but he was one of my favorites. Which... I wouldn't mind if they came back with the show. They, like I said, they they ended it pretty strange. Everybody was basically already dead, and oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, and they they were in a church. It, it was just crazy. And the last pop we got is Negan from The Walking Dead, guys. Oh, he has the bat. He's with got the... a barbed wire bat, guys. Yeah. Let me see if I can get it closer for you guys. Let's see if we can get it in there. Right. That's pretty cool. Right there. Pretty cool. I really like this one, guys. Pretty cool. And then, on top of this, we got some miscellaneous stuff. So, just gotta, we're just going to show you guys, see what you guys think. So, we got, this is a, and we don't know, we're not going to be able to know, the, we're not going to know the values with these. We'll have to look it up after, but this is the 1998 edition Terrell Davis. Right there. And then. There's that one. And then we got another sports one. 1997. Yeah, who, this, who's this? This is... Oh, Tim Duncan. Oh. There's a Tim Duncan one. I don't know if these are worth anything or not, but I mean, I guess we'll have to look this up after. Yeah, and then all the rest of these are The Simpsons. Yeah, really cool. Any Simpsons fans out there, let us know. I know Kristen's definitely a big fan, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be keeping at least one of these. If anybody knows what these are, or how you know the, what these are worth, let us know. You know. We don't know much about these, so we'll definitely you know take any advice that you guys got. It's always welcome. Yeah, we got Dolph. This is Dolph, guys. He's pretty cool. Um, it looks like there was a whole collection of these things. What's the next Looking one? Looking at the back, that's Office, Officer Lou. Officer Lou, guys. Well, this one says Officer Lou, but that is not Officer Lou. That is, um, oh, what's her name? Miss Kerpopel. That's odd. Yeah. Well, you can see it says Officer Lou right there. But. It's Miss Grabopple. So, I don't and know. And then we have, this is Carl. Carl? Is this, this He's in the uh, the bar with them always, right? Yep. Okay, there's Carl, guys. He works with Homer at the power plant. Gotcha. And then last but not least, it's oh, wow. Bleeding Gums Murphy. This guy is huge, guys. I'm going to see if I get a side view for you. So there's him. Take a look at him. <laughs> that's a big dude right there. Yep, that's the saxophone player that Lisa strives to be like. All One right, guys. Idols. So sit back, relax, and we'll be right back with the to with the total here. All right, guys. So we tallied it all up, and we came up. It was thirty pops, and our total was two hundred and thirty-five dollars. We did pay only 120 bucks, and that was including shipping. That does not include the Simpsons, Simpsons. or the uh, sports, sports ones. Toys. So we're guessing those are worth at least, let's say, 10 bucks a piece, and we got about seven of them, right? Uh, like five, no, six Simpsons and two sports ones. Yeah. I would say all in all, we probably got about a $300 lot here of value. Only paid 120 so we did make about 200 bucks roughly, 180 Somewhere around there. So I think we did a good job. And, you know, some of the boxes are a little damaged. So, you know, the ones that are for sale, we'll have to knock knock down, you know, a few percent here and there. But we're definitely happy about that. And we got a few more coming up. We got a few more videos coming up. We got a Chow's Collectibles $300 mystery box coming up. As well as a Toy USA Super Grail $300 uh pop mystery box which we are excited to do which will be at the end of this week yeah we're just waiting on those to come in we haven't gotten them yet or we would be doing that video instead of this one right now since yeah. that's a little bit bigger of a video everybody's <laughs> waiting to see what everybody else got yep for those at least so guys if you like this video please hit the thumbs up to help us out we appreciate everything you guys uh do for us 
Also, please subscribe, hit the bell so you see the new content that does come out. So, stay tuned. See you later.